Hi there, my name is Merlin, like the wizard, and this video is going to be about my latest turtle program. So I'm going to show you what it does, I'll say why it's special and how it works, and then I'll show you how you can use it too. It's pretty easy. It all starts with an advanced mining turtle. So I'm going to place this down right about here. And then I'll just go and place another one here. And maybe another one here. And let's do one there. Now you may have seen house building programs before, but what makes this one special is you never get the same house twice. They're totally random. And with the random algorithm, I tried to go for kind of a, a balance between a variety of houses and houses that weren't too crazy, weren't too out there, that were still very housey. And I think I did pretty well. I think these houses are different enough to be memorable, but not so different that they're unrecognizable as houses. But you can be the judge if I succeeded or not. Now the way it works, it builds from the bottom up in layers, kind of like 3D printing. And also like 3D printing, it works by finding a smart path between all the things on its layer. So it actually uses the same algorithm I've been using previously for ore, mining ore underground. And it's just, it's pretty simple. It just goes to the nearest block, places it, and then finds the next nearest. And it does that every layer until the house is built. That's how it works sort of over the hood. Under the hood, I'd say, is just as interesting, uh, especially if you're interested in code at all, because I wrote actually an entire Lua sort of library that I'm calling Merlib that is useful for turtles. It has a bunch of different modules. Actually, it's right over here. Um, it has all these different modules. Here it is, called Merlib. And just for example, this, uh, this Shactuator is what I'm calling this program. The way this works is it first uses a random seed to generate a house using the houses module. Then that house object is turned into a blueprint object using the blueprints module. Then that blueprint is built, and as the turtle builds it, it uses the algorithms module to generate the fastest route to the nearest, uh, nearest block. And then it goes there using, it follows that route using the actions library uh, or module. Uh, this is obviously a lot of, uh, maybe extra, <laughs> you know, this might be uh, a little too much for just what this program does. But what's cool about this library is I can use it for all sorts of other projects. So stay tuned for more projects coming and I'm just gonna be adding to this. You can use it too, it has some useful stuff for you. Um, it isn't documented yet though, so leave me a comment if you're interested in using it and I will try to um, add some documentation. Yeah, so now I'm gonna show you how you can use this yourself. But first, if you're interested in this stuff, if you wanna learn how to do it on your own, I actually offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring lessons in computer craft, so go to merlintutoring.com to find out about that. Yeah, okay, so go to your inventory, grab a, an advanced mining turtle, just an empty one, and place it down. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna run paste bin get, and I will paste this in the description. And we're just gonna call this one package. Then we run package as a program and it unpacks into all of these. This is using the packer module here. Um, so that's actually built in. Then you can run shactuator. So then you can see this sort of representation of the house. On the left, you can see all the walls and the W and the D, which stand for window and door. In the middle are all the heights of all the blocks, and then on the right is sort of a top-down view of all the slants of all the roofs. If you like this house, you can click select, or if you don't, you can hit randomize. I'm gonna tab through and find one that I like, and you can just tab through as much as you want. This one looks nice, it's nice and big. So I like this one, I'm gonna hit select, and now it's asking me to put items in the slot, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay, so I've loaded this guy up with items, the first seven are in the correct order for these features, and then the rest of them are just in any order, and those are extra items so that it doesn't run out. Now I'm gonna hit enter, but it's not gonna go very far because we haven't fueled it yet. So I'm just gonna grab whatever fuel, I like coal, and I'm gonna put this in the first slot, and then I press F, and you can see when I do that, the fuel level goes up. I'm gonna replace this and then press C when I'm done. Now I slowed it back down, so it's, it's, it's going at regular uh, mortal speeds, but I'm gonna use the carpet mod because I have no patience and that will speed it up just like we were seeing before. We can watch this build. It's very relaxing. I've been having so much fun since I built this, just like going around and making, you know, all of these. Um, you can actually see there are some settings to make bigger houses. If you look over in the distance, there's some large houses over there. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, okay, there it's done. 
When it finishes, you can see it says completed house with seed and tells you what the seed is. There's another cool thing, which is if I run Shactuator again, this is the same house we just made. And the reason is because after you hit select, if you actually, if you terminate this and look here, it makes this house log.json file, and that has the seed and all the options stored inside of it so that when you run Shactuator again, it will have the same house. Now, if you click this little blue button, that actually shows you these options, and they're not really well labeled, they're not super intuitive, so I'll just show you. If you want a big house, change this one, make it, I don't know, maybe 50. This one, you can go for like 30, and this one, I would go for like uh, 15 or something. That's what I've been doing for the big houses. I'm not gonna run this here though, because then we'll get a giant floating house. Um, I will show you these big ones over here. Um, I really enjoy reading like and geeky comments and geeking out with people in the in the comment section. So if you have uh, ideas or questions, please, please comment. Um, yeah, just be aware that I will take your ideas. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna go to bed now.